you that's crazy you say that um I was one of those I was always one of those guys though I was terrified the the you had said something you said um like maybe I made a mistake maybe I, I this isn't my last deployment the worst firefight I was ever in I felt that and I said that to myself like I may have made a mistake I don't know if I'm really cut out for this stuff and I sat there in shock and I wanted to stand up. I wanted the enemy to, I wanted to get it over with quick. I was like, I'm going to have them shoot me in my head. But I changed my mind because I wanted to have an open casket for my mom. So I said, I'll just put my hand up and I'll get shot in my hand. That way I can at least get the helicopter, uh, medical helicopter to come in and I can get out of here. But I had this weird thought, if I get shot in my hand, the bullet was going to travel down and hit me in my heart or something like that. And I wasn't prepared for the pain. So I sat there for a second. And then uh, a guy had to, I had just watched um, the guy who ended up saving my team. I watched him get shot. He was dying. And the guy in front of me, I watched his chest get blown out. Uh, he got shot in his chest. And I was like, you know what? This is it. So I sat there for a second in shock. And one of my teammates had to smack me on my helmet. And he was like, Irv, get over here. We're not, I'm not getting shot. It was a sniper who was pinning us down. And he's like, I'm not getting hit over here. So I looked at him. I was like, all right, man. I went over to him, stood up, and I, I started getting shot at. So he pushed me away. He's like, no, he's after you. And I was like, damn. But I, I didn't allow it to, like, freeze me up. I turned back around and kept shooting. But I had – mentally, I checked out. Mentally, I was like, I'm done. I'm just going to keep fighting until, you know – they shoot me. I had told my spotter that day. I was like, dude, when I die, make sure you tell my parents and everybody. I don't know if I could say it, but I was like, make sure I'm, you tell them I, I wasn't a bitch. Like, tell them I fought hard. And it's like, no, dude, you're good, man. You're good. I was like, no, we're probably going to die today, but I'm going to keep fighting because I don't want to go out that way. I think now I know it. Not, it's not now, but and impressing people around me, I, not impressing people, but not letting people down around me was my biggest driving factor of not quitting on myself, was not giving up, was making sure everybody else around me was okay, or not quitting on them. I could, I've, I've never, I could care less about whatever happened to me, but I didn't want to go out not doing them justice, the guys around me. You know, not quitting on them, not looking a certain way, you know, not being viewed as a coward. No matter how scared I was, I was terrified on a, you know, a few occasions. That last one was the most I've ever been absolutely, you know, shook to my soul. But I kept fighting because it was, I didn't want to let the guys around, you know, around me, you know, down. I didn't want to let them down. And I didn't want to be looked at as a coward. Um, because I knew I wasn't, but and that's a tough question. That's a tough one to, to even like really think about, but it, I would have to say it, it came down to not giving up on it, on my team and not let my parents down. Like it would, in my mind, it was going to be the only time if I was going to die, I at least wanted them to be proud that moment that I didn't die like a coward, you know, whether they would have, I would have known they said that or not but I envisioned that at least my dad would have been like you know my son fought hard so I told my my guys you know tell my parents that I fought hard man you know to let them at least to be proud of that so I was always fighting for somebody else it wasn't about me I was always I was really fighting for everybody else you know okay me as a person was terrified what's up guys thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.